Hi everyone, my name's Jordan and welcome back to my channel. Now that it is officially fall, it is now official. Let's talk about some books that I think are incredible fall reads to really get you in that atmospheric mood. When I think of fall, I think of weather changes. I think of it's time to go back to school. I think of scary Halloween. I think of dark, things like that. So let's get into it. First up, I have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. You're gonna see a theme in this video. I have quite a few dark academia books on here, just because fall is when everyone goes back to school and dark academia is normally kind of spooky in some sort of way. It normally deals with kind of like spooky things and we have Halloween coming up. So dark academia to me always feels like fall. And Ninth House is no exception. Ninth House is about a few secret societies at Yale that practice like occult magic. So they do like summonings and they talk to ghosts and whatever. So we follow a main character, Alex, who can see ghosts, which is not something most people can do. And it's a really dark book. We deal with some really tough themes. Um, I haven't read this in quite some time. And Lee Bardugo finally announced that the second book will be coming out in January, I believe. So I'm either gonna do a reread of this or I'm going to have to look at a good synopsis because it's been a bit. But the vibes in this book are just like so fall. They're incredible. And this is Lee Bardugo's only adult book. And I believe also the only book outside of the Grishaverse, which is like her huge spanning multiple series, big series. Um, so this is kind of like much different than those. Um, it's more urban fantasy since it is set in Yale. It's also kind of like paranormal fantasy because we deal a lot with like ghosts and things like that. So overall, I think it's a really good book and I don't normally like urban fantasy. So I guess it's the dark academia thing that I do like. So overall, this is a very good book. Definitely check the trigger warnings. There are some dark themes discussed, but really good book and a stunning cover. Next up, I have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Now this one, some might argue, is more of a winter book than a fall book. And I agree to some extent, but when it's like towards the end of fall, when we start to really get that cold weather, I still want some of those like more chilly vibes. This is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. Um, so it's got that fairy tale storytelling devices used a lot. And I loved this book. It starts out a little weird, but it, by the end I was so invested. It is so good. It is definitely something to read towards the end of fall because it it is like a frozen tundra wasteland kind of thing. It is set in the middle of winter, but it just feels so fall because again, the, the weather changes and we get this like kind of scary story. It does get scary at times and I just love this book and I want more people to read it. I do think it's it's a pretty well well known book. I think a lot of people have, but I don't see it talked about on booktube a lot. So I definitely recommend this to, as a fall read to kind of like get those spooky cold vibes. Next up, I have a book I've talked about a lot recently and that is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. Fall is also the time of fall drinks and cozy and things like that and this is the perfect book for that kind of vibe. This is the perfect book to go sit at your local coffee shop and get a yummy latte or something, a fall drink, pumpkin spice latte, something like that, and just read it in like one or two sittings. It is so good. It is about an orc who has decided to give up the battle life and has decided to open a coffee shop in this little town where no one has ever had coffee before. And it is just a wholesome story. It says high fantasy, low stakes on it. It is just such a cozy story for a chilly weekend. The leaves are falling and you just sit down and curl up with a warm blanket and a warm drink and read it. It's so good and I really think it is the perfect, perfect fall book. Next up, I have another Dark Academia that I've also talked about a lot and that is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. This is kind of a contentious book on Bookstagram, BookTok, BookTube. You either love it or you hate it and I think it's because it's so hyped but I'm in the camp of love it. It is this dark academia book where there is these people that can do magic that 
are part of the secret society that basically runs the world and they try to push magic to its limits. And these six people are chosen as like initiates to join this secret society and only five of them will be inducted. And so it's kind of like this competition type setting. It's very, it's got the whole, whole dark academia vibes, like the old rustic library and the secret society. It feels kind of school like, and it is just so good. Characters are all morally gray. You can't decide if any of them are somebody you should root for. The twists are so cool. The magic system, while never really explained, they do some really cool stuff with. And I know that that's like one of the biggest gripes with people is that like the magic system doesn't make sense to them. But I kind of love that about it. Like I don't need everything explained to me. Just seeing them do cool things works for me. And I understand why that doesn't work for everybody, but I thought it was cool. I just think it's a really good book. It's got like the dark, spooky vibes kind of some there's some high stakes things happen very good book i think it's perfect for fall next up i have a horror book um if you're on this channel you know i don't read a whole lot of horror and not for lack of wanting to i just haven't really breached into that area of books but i think i would like them um so let me know down below any like fantasy horror wrecks because i'm really interested in that but anyway i have mexican gothic by sylvia moreno garcia Sylvia Moreno Garcia is an incredible author because she writes such different books. All of her books feel like a completely different genre. She tackles like different themes. Um, a lot of them are inspired by Mexican culture because she is Mexican um, and they're, they're so good. They're just so good. Basically, uh, this woman's cousin writes her kind of frantically. Um, and so she goes to her cousin's house kind of in the middle of nowhere and kind of has to like sleuth out what's going on because that something is off in this house. And this book gets really gross, but really cool. It's got the haunted house vibes, got the haunted house explorations. You kind of get to dive deep into this dark, twisted family. It is so good. This is another book I see some people not liking, but I think it's great. Um, it's also pretty short, so a good read if you're like trying to squeeze in another book on your TBR for October. It's super atmospheric, very scary. One of the prettiest covers, like, ever. Um, very good book. I highly recommend it. Next up, I have a book that I don't see talked about like at all. And that is The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker. This is perfect for Halloween season. Um, it is about a British Japanese reaper, which is what it sounds like. It's people that help ferry people's souls to the afterlife. Um, and in Japan, they're called Shinigami. This woman and her brother are part of like this Reaper society in Britain. And she has, she is convinced that if she goes to Japan, she'll be more accepted because being biracial in Britain, she was picked on a lot, bullied a lot for being part Japanese. So she decides to go to Japan and there she finds that maybe things aren't all that different. Um, and you get a lot of like dark, dark themes you get to see like the underworld you get to meet other reapers and other shinigami and it's scary and it's atmospheric it is ya but there are definitely some like dark dark themes tackled so check those out before you get too far into it but overall it's so unique it's such a good book it's perfect for a spooky season it's the cover is dark the content is dark the setting is even literally dark so i highly recommend this book and I think that the sequel has been announced so I'm excited for that. It wouldn't be a Jordan Reed's recommendation video without Gideon the Ninth <laughs> by Tam Samir. This is a book I talk about probably in like every other video at least. Um, I'm currently reading Nona the Ninth which was just released and probably by the time this is this video is up I will have finished it. I am obsessed with the series. Harrow the Ninth is one of the best books I've ever read, hands down, not just this year, of all time. This is the first book of the series, of the Locked Tomb series, and this book follows a group of necromancers that must compete to become the lictors to God, which are basically like his, his bodyguards. And they each have a cavalier, which is like their bodyguards. And Taro is the necromancer of the ninth house and she chooses Gideon as her cavalier. And this is just the story of them in this basically also kind of like a haunted house where they're trying to figure out how to become a lictor. They aren't told how, they're just told like, go figure it out. So they're in this old house, at it's at the first house 
and they're like trying to figure out how to become a lictor. They're trying to like piece together the clues and there's high stakes, people die. Like it is so good and also so confusing in the best way. Um, and Harrow the Ninth just gets better and I'm really hoping that Nona the Ninth is also a hit for me. Um, I'm gonna finish filming this video and go back to reading it. So really, really, really love this book and it's perfect for fall. Necromancers, dark twisted turns, like it's perfect for fall. So if you haven't read it yet, you've been waiting for the right time, now is the right time. I mean, any time is the right time to read this, but now is the perfect time to read Gideon the Ninth. So again, highly recommend. Next up I have Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed. This is a very, very dark twisted book. So check content warnings. Um, I read this one earlier this year because it was an arc I'd received and it is just kind of like a grisly body horror fantasy book. There's so much body horror. Everything's gross. There's magic. Um, I don't want to get too far into like what it's about because I think it's better to just go into it, but definitely check the trigger warnings. It is perfect for a good, scary, horror filled fall. Re Last but not least is the only non-fantasy book on this list and that is Ace of Spades. This is a, a YA dark academia book. It is such a good book. It's always explained as Gossip Girl meets Get Out and that's a, to me the perfect explanation. It's about these two black students at this private school. They're the only black students in the whole school and they start getting these targeted attacks on them and their reputation and it's kind of like trying to figure out who is behind all of this, who is this secret person doing all of this and it is so dark. The twists and turns at the end are just like jaw dropping and I cannot recommend this book enough even if you're not huge into YA. It definitely does read younger. They are high school students but the twists and turns are so well written and it is phenomenal so I highly recommend this one as well. And that is all of my recommendations for fall. It is definitely not all of them, but it is all the ones for this video. There are so many books that are perfect for fall. I'm hoping to read some new horror this fall. I'm hoping to read some new releases. So overall, just very excited for this fall season. I've already got a fall candle lit. I've got my pumpkin spice creamer. Like I am fully in the mood. Please comment down below some more fall recommendations. I'm always looking for more recommendations. And fall is not just October. Fall also goes into November. So like any fall recommendations you've got, give them down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, your support means the world to me, and until next time, thank you guys.